everybody doing thanks for joining me welcome back today I thought I would go ahead and share a video with you guys demonstrating on how I take care of my lips and my hands and I'm also collabing with a wonderful lady Palm Spring Cindy so if you guys would like to stick around and see um, how I do my lips how I take care of them and my hands keep on watching First of all, I want to apologize. I have a cold again. I swear this this weather has been so wonky wacky. It is not even funny. And I live in the state of Pennsylvania. So if you live in the state of Pennsylvania, you're feeling me. Or maybe even in your state, maybe you're having wonky wacky weather. But like I always laugh. I say, what place can you be wearing flip-flops one day and wearing snow boots the next day? Because it has just been crazy it's like warm one minute nice weather you feel you can actually feel the spring coming or something you know it's just right around the corner and then all of a sudden wham Na mother nature slaps us with the snow the cold it's real windy out right now and a lot of my members in my family it's like we're <laughs> We're playing this little circle, circle of love, <laughs> passing the cold along. So it's just, yeah, it's like, I just can't get rid of it or get away from it. So, but hopefully I can get through it and don't get too down. I'll try and make the best of it anyway. All right. So this is a video that Cindy had approached me and she wanted to do a collab with me, which I already knew I was going to do a collab with her because I do my what I'm liking and not so much, which actually is not on today, but I figured, you know, kind of share a little something different uh, today with you guys. And so we discussed of, you know, certain things that maybe we could do together for a little bit of a collab. And I said to her, you know, cause like a lot of us on here, uh, especially the mature beauty community, you know, we're trying to learn from one another and get to see what each one does you know maybe how about the lips and the hands while we work on that and share like maybe how we take care of them and what we do to try to keep them in the best that we can you know best shape and all that kind of stuff as as we're getting older she was all up for that so she was like yeah sure so now cindy palm spring cindy's uh, cindy not cindy's <laughs> there's one just one cindy but palm spring palm spring <laughs> Oh my goodness. Cut. <laughs> Palm Spring Cindy. I got to know her, I would say about eight months ago, maybe. Maybe longer. I think it was actually Mary Glitzy Fritzy who introduced us, some of us, to her. So I hopped on over like I always do. I always go and check people's channels out and, you know, check them out, see what's going on, get to know them and all that kind of stuff. Right away, I knew, I was like, yeah, yeah, she, she, she fits right into the beauty community here with the rest of us. So now what I really have enjoyed about her automatically works so well with the camera and with talking to you. What I mean by that is like, she seems very comfortable, you know, in front of the camera. She is a classy lady. She'll probably get a kick out of this and maybe even a giggle. But, you know, she reminds me of those women that I enjoy so much from the classic movies, you know, the classic movies and everything. And she kind of reminds me of those ladies, those sophisticated classy ladies. I really have enjoyed her. She goes in every direction. Like she'll share you with fashion. She'll share uh, jewelry, tips on different beauty things and in fashion or any of that kind of stuff. As a matter of fact, she did a video not long ago where she's reading a book about um, purses and how purses, you know, to find the right purse for you. In other words, like when we put outfits on, clothing on, a lot of times different patterns and designs make you look a different shapely way. Obviously, like 
Certain ones can make you look more bulky. Certain ones can make you look more flattering and curvy and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And uh, she was sharing about purses and how purses in some reference in the same way, you know, and it is an accessory, of course. So that makes sense, you know, so I was like, I never really thought of it that way. And, you know, she was sharing with us this book that she found fascinating. I love seeing her sitting in her, ba her bathroom. Oh my goodness, to me, it looks like a nice spa, kind of a bathroom. She has, she has a very nice home. Uh, as a matter of fact, she took us around and actually shared it with us, uh, some of her decorations when she had, when Thanksgiving and Christmas was around. And uh, certain ways that she, you know, decorated her table and different, you know, decorating in her home. And I really, I really enjoyed that because a lot of the stuff was the things that she found, um, you know, that she put together, maybe something simple and, and inexpensive too. And we've become pretty good friends. And I don't, I, she just is a very loving person. I just think she brings a lot. She, oh, she does wigs. She just brings a lot to the beauty community as well. So I'm going to put a link down below to her channel and the video that she's going to be sharing of what she does for her lips and hands, which I cannot wait to see. I'm very curious to see what she does. Please go check her out. Show her some love. Maybe subscribe if you like. I know you, you guys aren't going to be disappointed. Now, <laughs> I was doing a video where I actually demonstrated how I did a couple of the things that I have here. And darn it to heck, you know, I did the whole thing and I went to go look and it was like gone. And I already had everything done and so I apologize, I can't really demonstrate, but you pretty much will get the idea of what I'm talking about anyway. So let's go on to the lips. So as we get older, of course, you know, our lips go through a lot of havoc just as much as the rest of our skin and, you know, body. So, you know, I go through chapped lips quite a bit, um, especially right now too. And I try to keep my lips as hydrated as best as I can. If I'm not wearing lipstick like I am right now, I will usually wear some, some form of a lip balm or something like that, uh, or just a plain uh, clear gloss or something like that. Sometimes I'll do that. So, but before that, uh, I prep my lips and get them ready uh, to, before I apply my lip balm. And there's several different things that I do when I do that. And I kind of just switch it up and it's just a couple of things. Now, one, you guys already pretty much seen me use the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator, which these are really great. They're $3. There's different flavors now. Mine is actually in the Mint Maniac. Mine's in that one but they do have a couple other different ones. Looks like a lipstick and you apply it on just like you would a lipstick and it exfoliates and removes all the dry skin on your lips. And I usually rub it around a little bit and then kind of wipe off and everything. And it's a quick way to remove a lot of the dead skin. Now, another item that, and I don't have any more because I went through it and I love Sarah Hat. Now, Sarah Hap can be an expensive lip exfoliator, but oh my goodness, she has all kinds of flavors. Like right now with spring coming, she actually had like lemonade and I forget what the other one was. Was it lemonade, pink grapefruit or something? The one I had was vanilla bean. They come in really nice pots, really nice sized pots. I mean, the thing lasted me close to almost six months to a year. I mean, it lasts me a very long time. But also, if you are on a budget, or whatever, you're in a pinch and you don't have any more of this, it broke, whatever, and you know, you don't want to go out and spend the money or anything like that, most people probably would have, I would imagine, brown sugar, because it's like, you know, basic stuff that you would have in your kitchen, brown sugar, uh, extra virgin olive oil. And then if you want to, uh, you can add a scent and make your own lip scrub. So, which I did make my own, put it in my little pot here, and I did use it earlier. So that's why the mess that you see now. I would probably say for the brown sugar, you could probably do like a third of a teaspoon and then maybe a couple little drops just so it gets to this kind of consistency, you know, like something like that. Cause you don't want to put too much oil 
in there or you're gonna have one hot mess. Just, I take some of it and exfoliate around my lips. You can put vanilla, uh, you can use you know almond, almond oil, almond scent, uh, a mint scent, anything, whatever you want, you know, if you have orange, anything. I believe it would probably last like several days worth, like three days maybe. I don't know if it would be a week. I think it was like three days I seen somewhere. Three days, four days. So that's kind of pretty much basically what I do for my lips. Hands, when we come to hands and everything. My hands, ugh, winter time is terrible too. I My hands can get so dry, so many, so much, it is horrible. And I have really been trying to take care of my hands, especially now that I'm getting older, because you know, as we age, a lot of the places too is your hands can show your age. So I try to take care of my hands as best as I can. And some of the things that I do use, which again, the product that I just showed you that I made with the brown sugar, if you want to, you can use the rest of your stuff that you have left that you used for your lips. And which that's what I did too, to demonstrate. Um, you can use on your hands and with the uh, extra virgin olive oil of course that puts some moisture into your hands along with it all or you can use which sometimes I use this is the shea sugar scrubs that I get from tree hut I take a little bit of it and use it and kind of scrub along and use that to exfoliate on my hands because I like to try to exfoliate my hands first before I put my moisturizer on. I don't do it every single day. If anything, like the same with my lips, when I exfoliate my lips, I would say I probably do it three times within the week or depending on what I feel my lips need. Maybe they might need that extra day of exfoliation throughout the week. And same with my hands, three times a week. So both are three times a week. If I don't do the brown sugar or that, you can use some exfoliating pads which I have this one from Aveeno my these are my daily cleansing these are like a cleansing pad but the one side does have little bumps to exfoliate cuz these pads have one side where you exfoliate and then the other side is more of a smoother side but another one that I really liked using is if you get the ones with the gly glycolic um, in them like uh, Dr. Dennis Gross makes them Dr. Dennis makes them uh, Peter Thomas Roth, Roth, he, you know, they, they all make those pads. Then pretty much what I do is I will put uh, hand moisturizers on my hands. Now the two that I've really been going through back and forth with is this one here from the um, Zo Skin Health from Zen Abaji. This one is the uh, Orser Nourishing Hand Cream. It's anti-aging formula and it comes in a tube. It has a really nice citrus scent, which that's what I use today. This is a 3.4 ounce. I'm not going to lie, this is a pricey item. I kind of was like, whoa, for, you know, for just a hand cream. But it is an anti-age cream. You know, I feel like this cream is going to last me several months worth. So I feel like the price is still going to be worth it because it's going to last me several months. If you're on a budget... And I talk about this product a lot, but I use it for a lot of different things. And it's the Advanced Clinicals Retinol. Now, I know some others have a different kind of retinol that they use, but mine's the Advanced Clinical Retinol. Now, my pump don't use, but as I always say, I have to remove the lid. I got mine in Walmart. You could look in your Walmart, your Super Walmart. Um, I know Walmart online, I've seen it on there and it's like five or six dollars for this thing. I've actually even seen my TJ Maxx carry this one. So look for any retinol creams that are like this. It doesn't have to be the advanced clinicals. They might have another form, but they're in these big tubs. I've seen other brands have these big tubs of retinol cream and you can put that on your hands. What I do pretty much is put this one on during the daytime and then the retinol I can use at night. Now I forgot to tell you what I what uh, lip balms I put on my lips so I'll tell you that real quick because I kind of forgot that part. So several lip balms I do enjoy. My favorite is again from Sarah Happ and this is called the Lip Slip. It's, it is the best one that I've had that actually lasts long on your lips 
and seems to really, really hydrate and moisturize the lips. I really like this one. But my second favorite, and and that is Dr. Danessa's Hydra Shield Lip Balm, which you guys probably heard me talk about this one. And you can get two in a pack, I think on QVC, maybe on her site, I'm not sure. But it's, you know, if you're somebody that don't like the finger, you know, put your fingers in anything, it is like a lip product that you, you know, like you put like a lip balm on, it has a little bit of a tint, like a peachy tint to it. And her Hydra Shield helps uh, produce collagen. She is well known for her Hydra Shield line. And this has the Hydra Shield in it for in the lip balm. Now, if you're going to go more into the drugstore family, probably my favorite would be the Nivea, which you can get it in the lip balm. Uh, tube to apply it on instead of dipping your fingers into it, but the Nivea lip butters These are great. So I would say if in drugstore This so far has been my most favorite in these little tins for a lip balm and then probably lastly I did get this cute little Vaseline This one's the rosy lips cute little, you know, little jar I pretty much, you know, basically got it because I thought it was cute and it's, it's okay, you know, I mean, it's Vaseline. We know what Vaseline can do, you know, a lot of people do put it on their, on their lips and it's okay. It's, it's, it does the job. So that is what I do for my lips and my hands. So guys, okay, so I hope that was helpful. And if you came from Cindy's channel, welcome. I hope you guys stick around and join me each week. And don't forget guys, I will have a link down below to Cindy's video and her channel. So please do go check her out. Thanks so much for joining me. If you found this helpful and you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that very much. And I put a big smile on my face. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. And I would so love to have you can join me each week. And do not forget to hit the bell because that bell will let you know when my new videos do pop up. So you will be notified by email, I believe it is. And you'll know that when my new videos pop up. So yeah, go ahead and join me guys and click the subscribe button down below. And as always, bees, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.